speaking to me now is boxing and MMA trainer Dana Wilson. Um, Dara, it's been quite a while since I last caught up with you. Can you just uh, give me an update of what you've been doing for the last 12, 18 months or so, boxing and MMA wise? Yeah, just keeping busy in the gym. I've been busy with Brett Johns, the UFC fighter, and doing his boxing work. Um, just took Geraint on now to the last eight weeks. I was camp ready for his title fight next week. Uh, Jermaine Asadi, JJ Evans, and a new boy Callum, but I can't say his last name, Bush, Bushy Ali. <laughs> Bush Ali, yeah. yeah. Um, before you got involved in Brett Johns, probably the, the fight that you're most well known or most associated with is probably Nathan Cleverly. Um, Nathan's last fight, unfortunately, was a loss out in Las Vegas on a, on a big Mayweather undercard. Um, just, just from your point of view now, with the, with the passing of a, a, a good few months or 12 months or so, what's your recollections of that night when it was Cleverly against, uh, was it Baru Jack? Yeah, it was a great experience, a great event to be part of, really, but um, obviously he didn't go away. But he's had a great career, British Commonwealth, European, uh, two-time world champion. Um, he flew the flag for Wales around around the world, really. Germany won the world title for the second time. The only Welshman to, to win the world title, in, uh, to, to regain the world title. Um, and then be, be a part of the Mayweather-McGregor fight, one of the biggest events ever. He, he should be proud in retirement himself. Um, where exactly did it go wrong for Nathan on that night? Um, he just felt it was too many miles on the clock. It just didn't didn't get going really. Um, but like I said, it just, it just didn't didn't really happen. Is it a case as well that Nathan's probably slightly too big for light heavyweight, but just too small for cruiserweight? Yeah, he uh, had the stint up in cruiserweight, had the two fights, two knockouts, and then on Bellu. But um, look, look where Bellu's come from here. So really, really realistic. He won a. A bad loss. You know, he lost on a spit decision as well on a on a box office fight in up in Liverpool, um, and then he, he draining down to that twelve and a half stone for years and years and years. He's, he probably took his toll on his end, yeah. But um, he's he, he's at his best at 13, 13 is strong when he's when he's fighting and sparring. Um, could you just tell us how you got involved with uh, Brett Johns, the the UFC fighter from Wales? Is um is his MMA coach Chris Reese contacted me and he wanted uh, some boxing work and try stuff out with me. So he done it done it once and then we just had a click straight away. Uh, we've just been working together for, for a year, two years now, and um, it's all all going good. He's fighting at the top, same top level of the in the world in in these big UFC events. Um, so hopefully get it, get him out early next year and get get a good win behind him. How do you train um, an MMA fighter? differently to a boxer? What are the differences from your point of view as a trainer? Um, obviously his hands I concentrate on but he's got me kicking and everything. Now, um, I'm trying to replicate what the, their opponents are. Really. Um, distance is the main thing and not getting, not getting involved in too much because obviously they can wrestle him, they can get him to the floor and blah blah blah. Um, but just getting his punches off at the right times. Rather than um, a box, you couldn't teach him boxing to box because it, it wouldn't work. Work so, been working hard together and progressing as a, as a in that in that aspect to take him forward. I mean, how good uh, a boxer do you think uh, Brett would be if he did decide to to, to change codes? I'll uh, be honest, he's he's come on loads in in two years. He 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 could be do well. I think he'd be uh, really well. But you can't can't really tell because we haven't done no proper boxing sparring. There's no point because he's. He's actually actually fighting in MMA, so there's no point. But I, I think he got the tools. He got a very good agility. Um, he's he could could be good. <laughs> um, I'm told by people that um, who've done both boxing and MMA that one of the big differences the feet in in boxing you put a lot of pressure on your front foot, whereas MMA the the pressure tends to be more on the back foot. Is, is that correct? Is that something you've done with Brett? Yeah, distance um, more than anything. Yeah, so he's out of the way of the kicks. But obviously, his last fight, he was got kicked quite a lot. He was getting drawn into a boxing stance. He was he's ready. He was head hunting a lot. But he got to reflect from Arno and um, go back to the drawing board and correct the wrongs. Your uh, next big fight you're involved in as a, as a trainer is um, Kieran Goodrich. Um, he he was well actually you you were sort of brought into the camp after Jamie Arthur uh, had to withdraw from boxing full-time due to other work commitments. Um, what's it like being working with Geraint for the last few weeks? 
Yeah, it's good. I'm excited about this fight. It's very excited. It's challenging for me. Like I said, I've been working at the top for a long time. Um, I've had loads of boys given to me, really, like Jason Cook, the already European champion. Jamie Arthur was already Commonwealth gold medalist. We won a Commonwealth belt with him. Clevery was already world champion. I've, I've had the, the boys already, even, even the boys now, Jermaine and Jamie, they're pro good, good level amateurs. Geraint's uh, on a losing record. He's started off a white collar to start charity. He's um, been working hard. It's, it's been good. It's, it's good to see the progress. J Jamie's done a good job um, in his early start of his career. I take it over now. He's got a better eye for a uh, belt now rather than go on the road. It's a different mindset. Really. So he's open, open to ideas and, and learning loads. And one thing that has impressed me about Geraint as, as I followed his pro career is his work ethic, his work ethic and the, you know, the training and dedication he puts into the sport. Yeah, unbelievable. He, I, I've never seen someone want it so much. He really wants this, but this is his world title. This is what he turned pro for. He started off doing it for charity, raised money for a, for a, a boys' operation or a kids' operation. Um, he went pro and he said, I'm going to go for this Welsh title. And now we're sure now, so he's, he's, he's trained like a, like a machine, really. He really wants his bad. And the, the, over the last couple of weeks, there's been a, a change of opponent. Originally, um, he was meant to be fighting Dan Barton from Newport, but there's been a change of opponent to uh, Jake Anthony, um, who's a sort of different style of fighter to uh, Dan Barton. Has that affected your training? Are, are you doing anything different for this new opponent? Um, first off, I hope Dan gets well soon. Get it. He, he's how you get it. Put the work in. Uh, get him. Put the work in to fight each other. Just oh, get well so, soon, uh, Dan. Um, Jake Anthony, I've seen him a few times, he's a very good boxer, um, I haven't seen him too much but I, I know a, a boy who's boxed him and, and told me quite a bit about him, um, I've seen him in, down in Swansea where he fight in, good, very good at what he does, um, but I think it's going to come down to one to the most at one point in that fight and, uh, and we know what that's going to be. And um, what, what type of fight can uh, the, the fans expect from your man again at Goodrich on the 27th of October? Uh, like always, 100%, but a bit smart again, I think. Now, um, like I said, he's a bit more rather than the road. He's he's going for it for four rounds. He's he's got a bit more. He's got 10 rounds. I think he's a 10 round fight uh, or 12 round fight or whatever you want to call it. Um, so you can have a bit more patience and pick his shots a bit better rather than rush his work. Like he's got to on the on the road with the four round fighters. OK, yeah, thank you, Darren, and um, we'll uh, look forward to catching up with you on the 27th, hopefully, after, after a victory from uh, your point of view. Yeah, thank you, Kate.